How to seek a shamanic spiritual teacher? Yuan Tia Sifu Li Jia. Keep these things in mind. It will save you a lot of headaches, time, and money. Always confirm your gifts guides with multiple sifus before actually starting and settling for one person. Make sure you are ready to begin your journey, ready for any life-changing events. If you are married or in a long-term relationship, make sure your significant other has agreed to help you and support you through your journey. If you are still single and living with your folks, make sure they will help you and support you. Otherwise, wait until you are married or in a loving relationship with someone. Who will be there for you through thick and thin? It may be a roller coaster at times and you will need someone to be there. When you have confirmed your gifts, guides, and are ready to begin. Seek at least three to six people, if you can find them, who you and your guides will be compatible with. Make sure the person is stable, positive, and already has raised their big altar or their last altar. If they haven't, they are not ready to help you. When you get in trouble or get stuck, Their power knowledge is limited. They have not reached a level where they can help you if they themselves are not even there yet. Make sure that they are experienced. They should know and understand what they are doing. What is their reputation and or recommendation from other people? good, bad, fair. Will they treat you the same? Sometimes it may not be good for other people due to compatibility issues, but may be good for you. Are they easy to talk to? What is their attitude? Will you get along with them? And will they be willing to help you and advise you through the rough times? How can you contact them? By phone, text? Are they easily accessible if you need them? Are they open-minded or very traditional, strict? Do they like to gossip, talk about people? Will they talk about you? which may not be good if you don't like others talking about you. So consider these things, it's very important. You need a positive environment and very good communications with your Sifu to succeed. Ask them, what is their type of name or spiritual gifts guides? Where do they bridge their guides from? Do they do animal sacrifices or do they use rocks and or other objects for healing rituals and or protections? You may have your preference for cultural name or new age name. Do they require you to wear certain kinds of clothes such as traditional Hong clothes or slacks and t-shirts? or color of clothing. What color veils do they wear? White, yellow, red, black, or even no veils? 
Do they require you to follow them in groups? When do they do healings for others or are you on your own in learning? Do they teach you how to chant or do they allow your guides to teach you? <clears throat> Will they teach you any rituals? Do they have any fees for everything or do they do it for free or for donations? Ask them how many students they have. Some have so many students that they will not be able to give you much of their time to help you. Some will not even pick up their phone when you call and or give you the runaround after they raise your altar. Ask if any of their students have raised or not raised their big altar yet. It can be an indication if you will be successful or not. Some will refuse to be your seafood, but will raise your small tadapa for you to trance until you show progress. Others will require you to build a small altar first before bridging your guns. Ask how many altars do their type of name require, one, two, or three, before the last or final one. What does their altar look like, hanging on the wall, standing on one feet or two feet? It may be a preference for you. Do they require that your altar look like theirs, or can you make one that you like? What type of equipment do they require you to buy? Will you be able to afford it? Ask them how long before they will allow you or require you to raise your big final altar. If you do get to that point, some will say one to two months, six months, one year, three year, five years, seven years, etc. Some will even require you to raise your altar in just a month or two, which may be too soon for you if you are not progressing. Ask them their fees for being a Sifu. Li Ning. Some will want thousands, while others will ask for a minimum or no fees until able to progress or and or raise your altar. How much for each altar and other rituals if needed? Ask if you need to dulu, meaning if you can't continue, are lost, not progressing, or if other issues arise, and they are not able to help you anymore when you can end the Sifu student relationship. You must understand the proper ways to end a relationship if you do need to. Respect the guides and do it properly. Some will not let you go and keep you hanging on for years, which means you can't go find another Sifu or ask someone else for help. What are their requirements to end the relationship if you are not progressing? Once you have gathered all the information that you need, then narrow it down to two to three people that fit your needs and standards. Some people will go jal or do a definition, asking the spirits to tell them or point to the one who is destined to be the one. Others will just pick the one that they like. Either way works, depending on your beliefs. Once the person is picked or chosen by you, then you will have to formally properly ask that person to be your Sifu. You must adhere to the proper ways of asking for help. If you don't, it's a sign of disrespect and they may not want to help you. Some will refuse but will wait for you to ask again before accepting, wanting you to make sure you really want them. 
Others will say yes, and others will refuse altogether. Some sifus can and will pick their students too. Good luck, and may your journey be a great one, full of peace, love, light, and healing for yourself and for others too.